All right. Hi, Facebook friends. Hi, Christchurch Facebook friends. So glad that you're joining us today um, on this President's Day. It's kind of rainy outside, but I um, hope that this is a little bit of joy in your, maybe your day off or your your day at work. Um, I'm Sarah Marzinski. I'm the program coordinator for music and liturgy. And usually I am behind the camera, um, either editing or filming or shooting people. But today um, I'm in front and get to share my favorite Bible verse with you and with my friend Addie Tapp, who's the director of young adult ministries here. Um, so we're sharing our favorite Bible verses on this Mondays from Markley. So Addie, why don't you start us off? Of course. So my favorite Bible verse is um, probably very familiar to you. It comes from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, and it's a reminder to us to to not worry and to kind of slow down and remember that God is God's on our side. So I'll read the second half of um, this this parable from Matthew. So Jesus says, "And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow; they do not labor or spin." Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So I need that verse probably 17 times a day, and it's, it's my favorite because it, it grounds me and reminds me that it's all going to be okay. <laughs> God, that is so, my, that, mine ties in so well. Um, my favorite verse is a psalm. Um, I guess unsurprisingly, I'm a singer, and so I've grown up singing psalms. I've grown up singing sacred texts. And so this text, it's Psalm 121. Um, it's, it's in, Mendelssohn has a beautiful setting of it. There's just beautiful, beautiful settings of it. And um, John Rutter has a setting of it that was sung at the royal wedding, which I kind of love. So I'll drop that in the, in the comments, um, a video of that. But it talks a lot about rest and that you know god is always here for us and that's that's something that i i need um often so um this is psalm 121 if you've got your bcp it's on page 779 um, and i'll read the whole thing i lift up my eyes to the hills from where is my help to come my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth he will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Amen. I love that. I know. It's, uh, uh, I can hear, you know, Mendelssohn and all of the Sowerby, Donald Dunk and I saw posted a comment. Um, I can hear all of those settings in my head. So um, I love that both of ours are, are good reminders that God I know. is with us. I know. That's what is it? I'm sure one of the clergy would know, but I think be still or fear not is in the Bible the most amount of times. Sure. We'll have to, we'll ask them. Maybe that'll be a clergy clutch coming up. Um, this week, though, is a busy week at Christ Church and in the um, Christian tradition. We are kicking off, well, kicking off, I don't know, kicking off, but we're starting Lent on Wednesday. Addie has some things that she wants to share about for tomorrow, Mardi Gras. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so like Sarah said, we are kind of ending off this epiphany season and getting ready for uh, the season of Lent with a Mardi Gras drive through parade tomorrow, which it will be good. It'll be supposed to be sunny tomorrow, which is the perfect nice. way to kind of end out this season. And um, part of that parade will be driving through the church parking lot and seeing the personal submissions of shoebox floats, which is a tradition in New Orleans that um, you kind of miniaturize the big floats in downtown New Orleans and turn them into little shoeboxes. And um, 
we've asked people to send those in so that people could drive through and see it. It's almost like an art gallery, cool. but um, Mardi Gras edition. So if you have not yet dropped off a handmade art project of a, a shoebox float, then we'll be taking those through tomorrow morning. And um, the more we have, the more the more fun the drive through will be. So if you haven't done that yet, we'd love to love to accept those from you. And isn't there a king cake? Oh, you drive yes. by, you get a king cake. So even if you're not artistic, which I am not, I have not made a float. This is not, really not my, my strong suit, but I will be very excited to receive a little mini king cake courtesy of the wonderful kitchen here and some beads and just general festivities Yay. as we head into the season of Lent. How exciting. That will be so fun. So that's tomorrow, Mardi Gras. And then um, on Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, we will have... Um, three different services, one at 7 a.m., one at 12 p.m., and one at 6 p.m., all in the church. There are reservations required for those, so check out the website, or I'll post a link in this Facebook comments as soon as we're off. Um, so I hope that you will join us for those as we start Lent. We're also looking forward to Sunday, February 21st, a Lenten Evensong at 5 p.m. in the church as well. So several different options to um, start your Lent off in a contemplative time. So thanks for joining us today and we'll look forward to seeing you guys either online or in person in the next couple of days.